It is no mistake President Biden is in Wisconsin this afternoon, just hours after his first State of the Union, now months until the midterms, as President Biden faces numerous national and international crises. President Joe Biden arriving in Superior Wednesday, about 100 supporters inside UW-Superior in his first post-State of the Union stop as tensions continue to escalate in Ukraine. We, the United States of America, stand with the Ukrainian people. We stand with them. President making no new policy announcements Wednesday as worldwide attention intensifies on the White House and U.S. response as Russia continues its invasion. He thought the West and NATO wouldn't respond. He thought they could divide us at home, but he was wrong. We were ready. We sent countless hours unifying the European allies. The trip setting the stage for the midterms and the importance of Wisconsin. Minnesota and Wisconsin's three Democratic U.S. Senators along for the trip, alongside Minnesota Governor Tim Walz and Wisconsin Governor Tony Evers, both seeking re-election this fall. So far, it seems like most of the major Wisconsin Democratic figures are willing to appear with him. That's been an issue in places like Georgia and Pennsylvania recently, at least around the edges. Uh, and I think Biden wants to get out there. The scene here a bit different than Tuesday night's State of the Union, UW Superior's mask mandate remaining in place until March 12th. In Superior, I'm Matt Smith, WISN 12 News. The president visited on the same day. A new poll shows his approval rating slipping in Wisconsin. A new Marquette poll released today found 43% of registered voters approve of the job the president is doing, 52% disapprove. That's down from 49% approval and 46% disapproval in August. I think what the American people saw last night was a president who was desperate to try to regain his poll numbers. It was a president who gave a speech that was clearly uh, written with the polls in mind. 